Hey, aviation buffs! Let's dive into the dark, stealthy world of one of the most iconic aircraft ever, the F-117 Nighthawk. This isn't just any fighter jet. It's a masterpiece of stealth technology that's had a legendary impact on modern aerial warfare. Imagine it's the late 20th century, the Cold War is at its peak, and the U.S. is about to unveil a game-changer in military aviation. Enter the F-117 Nighthawk, often dubbed the Stealth Fighter. But let's clear the air. Despite its nickname, the Nighthawk was designed primarily for ground attacks, not air-to-air -air combat. What sets the F-117 apart? It's all about its design. Picture this, a jet with flat, angular surfaces and a special radar-absorbent coating. An odd look, sure, but incredibly effective. These features minimized its radar signature, making it nearly invisible to enemy defenses. And yes, it carried its weapons internally, adding to its stealthiness. Now, stealth doesn't just mean hard to see. It revolutionized how missions were carried out. High-value targets, no problem. The Nighthawk could slip in undetected, strike and exit without a trace. Well, almost. Throughout its operational life, there was only one F-117 shot down. That's an incredible record, considering the high-stakes missions it performed, including pivotal roles in conflicts like the Gulf War. But as with all technology, time moves on. The F-117 was officially retired, but its legacy endures. Many are now displayed in museums, a testament to their monumental role in military history. And let's not forget, the principles of stealth developed with the Nighthawk have propelled advancements in newer aircraft, shaping the future of aerial combat. So next time you're near a museum showcasing one of these marvels, take a moment to appreciate the Nighthawk, not just as a piece of machinery, but as a pivotal chapter in the story of aviation. Thanks for joining me on this high-flying journey into the shadows of the Nighthawk. Until next time, keep your eyes on the skies and your curiosity high.